Rose here for another one of our FAQ videos. So what do you want to know? Hello. Today we are going to answer the frequently asked question, what are the guidelines for secondary containment when dealing with hazardous materials? U.S. Plastic Corp. carries many American-made TAMCO products, including industrial-strength TAMCO secondary containment tanks. These containment tanks help avoid costly and hazardous spills and are available in various sizes and colors. You may wonder what are the guidelines when using secondary containment tanks for hazardous materials. Federal regulations stipulate that a secondary containment system must be designed and operated as follows. A base must underlie the containers, be free of cracks or gaps, and be sufficiently impervious to contain leaks and spills. The base must be sloped, or the containment system must be otherwise designed and operated to drain and remove liquids resulting from leaks and spills. The containment system must have sufficient capacity to contain 10% of the volume of containers or the volume of the largest container, whichever is greater. More federal requirements can be found at ecfr.gov and check with state and local authorities who may have their own requirements. Finally, you should also confirm that the secondary containment unit is made of a material capable of holding the spill for the time required. Check out our selection of TAMCO secondary containment tanks at usplastic.com. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. And remember, if you have a question you would like us to answer, or maybe you have an idea for our next video, send us an email at techbids.usplastic.com or give us a call at 1-800-537-9724. We'll see you next time.